Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Colorize Photo tool lets you either automatically apply a color to an entire photo or manually apply colors to selected parts of a photo. If manually changing selected colors in a photo, then this tool works much like the Replace Color tool but using more of a guided edit functionality. To colorize a photo in Photoshop Elements, select Enhance, Colorize Photo from the menu bar to open the Colorize Photo window. At the left side of the window you can use the Zoom tool and Hand Tool buttons to zoom and pan in the image as needed. At the right side of the window is a panel that lets you select how to colorize the current photo. To automatically colorize the entire photo, ensure the toggle switch at the top of the pane is set to Auto. Then simply click the colorization variant to apply from the choices shown in the panel. Alternatively, to manually colorize selected parts of the photo, click the toggle switch at the top of the panel to set it to the manual choice and then follow the instructions that appear in the panel. First, you select the area in the photo to colorize. You can click either the Quick Selection tool or Magic Wand Tool button here to choose the selection tool to use. Then use the New, Add, or Subtract button to choose to either make a new selection, add to an existing selection, or subtract from an existing selection. Then use either the Size or Tolerance slider to set your desired setting for the selection tool you chose. Then make your selection in the photo as needed. Your colorization changes are then restricted to colors within the selection. Next, add a droplet to each color to change within the selection to mark the current color to colorize with a new color. To do this, click the Droplet Tool button in the panel. Then click into a color within the selection to add a droplet to it. You can add multiple droplets to different colors in the selection if desired. Next, click to select a droplet if needed. And then click to select a replacement color by either clicking a color in the color palette or the All Applicable Colors section, or by clicking the adjacent Eyedropper Tool button and then clicking the color to apply in the image. If selecting a color from the All Applicable Colors section, click and drag the slider at the right of the section up or down to show the general colors in that section to the left, and then click a specific color to the left to apply it. If you select a color choice you don't like, you can use the undo command to undo your last action if needed. At the bottom of the window, you can click the Show Droplets toggle switch to toggle the appearance of the selections and droplets on or off as needed. You can click the Before After toggle to toggle the preview between the Before and After versions after you apply a colorization effect. If needed to reset all your changes, click the Reset button. If desired to cancel the changes and close the window, click the Cancel button. Otherwise, to apply your colorization changes when you finish, click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.